よめ、よめにナイフのあ傷がついた頑,頑丈なテーブルと椅子がいくつか。Uh, there's our numbers of chairs uh, and, uh, and a uh, sturdy table that uh, have scratches uh, that are knife, knife scratch uh, on the surface. Danro niwa yakanto. 鉄製の豪徳と三百台が一つ。Uh, at the fireplace, there is one three-legged stand together with、um, the、uh, The base made of what of uh iron, an iron base,、はい、like a like a cooking, cooking base,、はい uh, yeah. together with um a kettle, a、uh, yeah, yanto, yanto, yanto. Where are they all located? At the danroniwa, at the fireplace.、はい、uh, todana no. 扉は開けばな、開けばな。開けあばなし。ばなしなし、あばなし。あ、開けばな is the verb meaning that it's um It remains open.、Right. Um, so, therefore,、uh, the door of the cabinet they were open. They were、right. in the state of was open. Tabu Rio Shoku Shoku Rio Shoku Rio. Shokurio o shimata daro daro. Um, the uh, tabun shimata. So, tabun it, it and daro probably... are basically the same in the sentence. Wakata. Probably the food was left there. Hi, exactly. Probably there's some food left inside of them. So the door is open. Hi, Yakan no Kizuka Waita. Waita. Waita is the、um, Ita. It is the past. From Waku. Waku. How did you read this word again? I, I like I didn't hear you for some reason. I didn't read it. Kizu. Oh, it's not Kizu. Um, Kizu,、uh, which does look a lot like it right over here. Kizu. Exactly the same on this right side. The left side is a little bit different. We have the kind of like the water radical, but it might not be、really、the water radical. This is U for hot water. Hot water. Yakan no U. Why that? That means that it was、uh, poor in.、Uh, good no, guess. It was not,、uh... Waku is to boil. So it, it literally boil. just says the water in the can boils, but they have to use the word you for hot water. So it's kind of funny. Right, the water was boil. Why that? Veneto ga. やかんやかんとやかんをととだんごから三
三百三百台。你哦是。Good guess. This is 五十。五十是。啊、um,。テーブルの上の小さな箱からお茶の葉を一つかま、かみして、夜間の中に、ほ、ほの、ほり、ほり、ほり込んだ。Yes, 一つかみして、Uh, it says here that the nebari, uh, benedga yakan o danro kara san kyakudai ni ushushi. Oh, it moved. Right. So it here moved. it's. Benet moves the pot、uh, from the fireplace to the three legged stand.、Hey. Uh, the top of the table.、Hmm? Uh, let's see. Table? Table? Oh, yes, you're right. Ue does. I thought he said the top of the table, but it says on top. So I, it、on、sounded、top. like the. To me, when you said it, but you could have said on. Uh, are、well, you right, Mani? I missed it. So it's Teburu no Ue no Chisa na Hako Kara. Ah, um, he, um, he totsu kami ste. He t a k e a handful of,、uh, tea, of tea leaves, uh, Ocha no Ha, uh, from the Hako. Uh, from the small hako, jisana hako, kara, on top of the table, table no ue no. And he, um, yakan no naka ni, horikonda, he tossed them into the naka of the yakan.、Oh. And he tossed them into the kettle. Perfect. And what is a hako? Goes a box. Perfect. All right.、Uh, here say, Shibaraku, Shita. Shibaraku just means that after a little while.、Um, Shitaraku, Shita, Kara, Kin no Fuchi no. Fuchi refer to a,、uh, a rim of、right. some sort. So, Kin Fuchi is a golden rim. Metal rim. So, after. Probably gold. F. Shibaraku shite kara. After a little while,、uh, the golden rim. Chotto tsuketa. I think it's tsuketa. It could have been something else. Tsuketa? It's ka. Kaketa. Kaketa.、Uh, missing a little bit. Um, Hana Moyo no couple. Uh, Ni Ocha o. This is to pour. Uh, Gi Chugi Sugi. That's a good guess. This can be read as Chu, like in Chu y o s u r u and that's the married reading. This is two hiragana characters which are repeated twice without any rendaku. They start with the letter S. Sosogi. Hi, Sosogi. Hi, so it's Sosogi. Sosogi to pour tea into the cup with the flower designs. Right. And that was a little missing. Yep, there was a chip in them. Remind me again, Mani.、Uh, Kino Fuchi no. The no at the after that, Fuchi meaning what is that, Mom? Um, so what we have here is a comma, and that is letting us know we're skipping over this chotto part, which is a adverb. 
right? Chotto is modifying the verb, um, kakita. And instead, it's skipping over that so that it modifies the same thing of the relative clause, kakita, which is um, hana moyo no kappu. So the kappu has this descriptor, this adjective, and so does it have this adjective, right? These are both um, adjectives of the noun phrase, hana moyo no kappu. So the, the comma is there so that we can skip over this to over there. Um, you already know why the no's there, but you're just confused because of the comma. Normally, what you would see would be the opposite, right? You'd see, um, Toto kaketa kin no buchi no um, uh, hana moyo no kapu. But that in itself would also be kind of confusing. So if you did that, you'd probably want to add a little comma after the Toto kaketa anyway. In order to make it more obvious, we are modifying the word kapu, right? Rather than um, gold or rim or something like that. Because to some extent, uh, it is, it, it, uh, relative clauses do not automatically modify the very last verb. They normally modify the verb they're directly touching, just like no, right? Keen is directly modifying buchi, which is directly modifying the next word, right? Keen's not actually describing cup. The cup is not made out of gold. The rim of the cup is made out of gold, right? So that's the same thing with these adverbs like kakitu, kakita, to be chipped. So specifically, choto kakita hanamoyo means that the flower pattern on the cup is what is chipped. There's the flower pattern is where the issue is um, on the cup, specifically. Versus like it could have a chip right on the metal rim of the cup, but it's more on the flower pattern, is what it's saying, or missing, I guess. Um, so it could be definitely like a worn flower pattern type of idea, I guess. Does that answer your question? Uh, it's, I get her that comma that separate the two adjectival clause. Yes, exactly. So one of the clause say that it missing, it, it, it's a cup that is of a flower pattern that was a little bit missing. Know, missing what we don't know, but it simply say it's a little bit missing. Sure, sure. Uh, and then the other adjectival clause say it's made of a gold rim. It, it is of a yes. gold rim. This cup is of a gold rim. Yep, it has a gold um, rim. A golden rimmed cup hi. is how we'd say that in English. We'd turn rim golden into Golden rim cup. Hi. And therefore he, and and so here it say that he o cha o. So, so he, he poured cha, he poured tea into this cup. Ore o mirande. Ueo. Yubisasu, he points at the top. Right. Yep, but net points at the, well, specifically he points ue. I'm sorry, he points up. Right. And well, what does he do as he points up? Does he smile niramu. at Kon? Uh, no, he niramu, meaning that he glares. So, so. He glares at me, he oreo nirande. Here's a case where he used Oreo instead of, uh, he, he used that other word. Yeah, rather than Kochi. Oh, yeah. So Kochi and Ore are basically interchangeable. It's exactly what you said before when you told me it's basically, it's, it's to look at me versus to look toward me. So you can use Kochi to insinuate less knowing for sure. Like, is he looking at me? Probably. I think he is. With Kochi versus Ore being okay. more specific. Because kochi is slightly less direct. Um, so, kochi o niramu, I felt like was weird because niramu is a very direct verb, right? To glare at somebody. But theoretically, you could use it if you weren't sure they were glaring at you. Like, they're glaring in your direction. You're like, they might be glaring at me. It's possible. Um, well, ore, Khan's like, he's glaring at me. There's no one behind me. <laughs> he's, he's definitely glaring at me. So you, you were definitely right about that. Hi. 
So here he simply say he players at me, and he points up where you be sasser. He point the finger up. He said, and can um hi hi wakari master yo. Yes yes I know already. Never ni ni o cha o matte ike ike te koto da da yo ne. You mean that I should be taking the tea up to Neveri? Or you mean that I should be taking the tea to Neveri? Mofuro, Danro, no, Sobani. This here is from Oku. Here is uses Oite in the uh, te form. So here it says that uh, I. Speaking is Khan. I left the I left the blanket by the side of the of the fireplace. And that short side needs either. Never ni o cha o matte ita. And that I brought the tea to Neveri who's is at the office so sorry perfect and did we read this sentence i think we didn't but i just double check do you know how to read this word yes we did read this one okay um, we did read this one bun atsui, meaning that is thick hi boot without it mm. i kind of heard it but but that's that is thick and that is big okina hon o yondeiru. so was reading a book that is large and thick that it was um what did it say here nobody nobody wa hokori boy uh a boy here was an adjective right it uh, turns nouns into adjectives yes it's the uh, suffix that turns nouns the adjective hokori boy uh does the isini suari who is sitting at the ch dusty chairs and um kino mitsuketa um mitsuketa ano ano meaning that right okinaho so he was reading that book that i found kino to meet Suketa that I found it yesterday. So theoretically, was... that is a possible translation of the sentence. However, we did read this book and we do have knowledge that Khan did not find any book. So what would be a more logical assumption to make? Who found a book earlier in this chapter? Hi, um... I made the wrong assumption, Mani, because here it clearly stated that nobody wa right. with regard to nobody. Yep. And we haven't changed the topic yet. So the topic here is still nobody. Oh, so wow. nobody could have been nobody wa ki no misuketa. Nobody who found that book yesterday. I know and he read that thick, large book. Yondeiru. He is okay. reading. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure that's where we left off. So... Yep. I show. Next line's pretty easy, but do you, we haven't. This is actually the first time we've seen this word in the book. I'm sure you know it, but gotta check. Hi, this is at the airport. Iriguchi. Yep, and other things as well, such as Costco. Um, do you know the difference between ageru and agaru? Ageru, agaru. Ah, this is a difference between transitive and intransitive. So I'm getting I'm guessing that ageru take an all object. This is an other acting ob uh verb. It I I acted upon another object. Yep. Ageru takes I, o, Agaru takes ga. 
Perfect. I lift okay. something up versus I go up. So right here, we have Ageru with our perfect O. So let's go read the line from the book. Look at that height. Uh, this is matte meaning to wait. Right. Right. It says here that immediately when I matte is wait. Yes. So when I waited. When I wait, nobody face. Where did he wait? Uh, lift up. At the entrance. At the I, entrance, I when I waited. Side. Um, it's a hard tara here. It's not the soft tara. It's top. I so um, he, he, he say that ne nobody lift up his face. Nobody is the actor, and he's the one that lifting up his face. So perfect. Yep. Uh, nobody looks up. When I um, pause at his doorway, it's probably how I would translate this. Because the toll let us know that this pausing was very short, right? Right after I waited, but wait feels long in English. So I think a pause would be a nice way of translating. I pause at the doorway and nobody looked up at me. Um, <clears throat> do you know what kushami means? Uh, kushami yo. Uh, one kind. Let me look at the context. It's a nebari wa kusami o shi. Hana o kosuri nagara nanda to fukigen so ni kotaita. Kshan. Hana o kusuri nagara. sounds like the word gudzun type. Kshami. Kshami o. Kshami o. Okay, this has to be a. A noun of some sort. It is a noun. Kusami o shi. Okay, so shi from suru. So I'm doing. So kusami kus is a noun that happens to sound a lot like the sound you make when you sneeze, like kuzun type. Um, kusami. Um, it it just means to sneeze. So he does a kusami. He sneezes, and then he kosodis his hana, which means he rubs his nose. So he sneezes I and see. then rubs his nose. Kosuri na. You know what the imperative form of to come is? Uh, so this is irregular, so it's koi. Hi, koi. Perfect. Um, so now we have the lines from the book. Ocha da yo. It's tea. Kono mada. What the koi? Oh. I'm guessing he say leave it there and come here. Yeah. Um, that's really close. So it's not matsu, it's motsu. I like how to check it out. It was, it was matsu last time. I was like, did we actually read it right? Yeah, it's motsu, right? That's our te hand. So he says motsu, right? Motsu the ocha and koi all the way up to koko. I'll check it here. Hi. Bring, bring it, it here. here. Bring it all the way here. Up to my location. Hi. Never he was. So it that. Kusamio shita. So here, that kazun tight you're talking about, he sneezes. He sneezes. Oh. <laughs> he sneezes um, after doing what? <laughs> he, um, bless you, Marty. Um, he, um, he, he sneezed after he saw it. He saw that. So it. So it. So it's it that here is EU. Hi. He said that. That yep. he said. Yep. After he said having that, said he that. sneezes. Or having said that, any of that, we got an and here. And normally, so it's one and then two, and we got that comma there. He says that, and then he sneezes. And it he just sneezes. doesn't have such an aggressive. How do you say um study again? Oh, sorry. Perfect. Sorry. And this is a so, verb that always confuses you. What does tsukiru mean? Heyo tsukiri. Heyo tsukiri. Uh, he, he's arrived, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. 
You think about tadori tsuku, which is another verb that really um messes you up. Tadori tsuku from tadoru and tsuku. Um, so tadori tsuku means to arrive to a location. Kind of has a importance to it versus just um tsuita. Tsukiru has a kanji from tsuku, which means to poke, and kiru, which means to cut. So it is the poke and cut a room. What do you think that means? Hi, I remember now. It means to cross the room hey, to cross in a very room. direct way. Go, go across the room. Cross go anywhere. Go straight across. Right. Um, um, oh, so yo ni suru is the grammar point. This means you're trying to do something. Not today like um, I tried to open the door, but more like you're trying to like make a habit, for example. Um, like to tr to gumbat it, kind of more feeling like that of trying, you know, which is a very different try than like I want to go try and see if she's in the office, right? That's very different. So yoni sudo is more like gumbat it, like I'm gonna go attempt in a a most more like more emotional kind of thing. Can you read the sentence up here for me? Um, ma, jutsu shi no de shi ni naru. Yo ni shitai. Hi, so this means I want to I, try to be. Yep. Want to try to become a wizard's apprentice. Perfect. Wizard. Um, so how would you say I'm oh. trying to read this thick book using pon buatsu yomu yo ni suru? How would you say I'm trying to read this thick book? I'm trying to read this thick book. So kono atsui. この後この後本を読んで読む読むようにする。Right. Perfect. Um, to... what particle should go between hon and yomu? We'll take o. Hi. O yomu. Perfect. Yeah. Um, do you happen to remember how this is read? Um, specifically what it means. You don't actually know how to read this. This is a new, new no, new itsukite. No, no, ga, new itsukite atta, uh, new no, cloth, new itsukite, new itsukite. To wipe, right? No, to That's polish. That's a good guess. You're right. There is a um, nigaku and there's um, fuku. And I think there is a nuku right here. Yep, this is the kanji right there. That means um, to wipe. So that was a really good guess because nui can become like nuite. But nui from comes from the verb nu with a u sound, which means to sew. So nui to get that atta means to be sewn on. There is a cloth sewn on something which in this context is on one of his sleeves of his robe nui to get that nui is to sew the idea that you got your needle and you're sewing it through an object right that's how you just poke a hole through the um cloth or you have to stick a needle through um the hole in the thing so this is um used in this idiom can you read it for me Uh, Aida o nu. Hi. Aida o nu, which in English is to weave through. That's the idiom we use, with weaving being that um, old arts and crafts where you take the string and you do that, like make a braid type of thing. You know, you make cloth, right? Well, in Japanese, it is you sew through the space to weave through. So for example, if you had a lot of stuff around, weaving through means you go around the stuff, right? So it's just kind of right. funny that they're similar, but they're different. To sew, to sew through space, right? Because O is used for throughness of locations um, and uh, to weave. Um, anyway, do you remember how to read this word? Um. Uh, yeah. 
キャラバーよくよくよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよくらばよ I don't remember this one more.、Right. So, in this specific story, they were describing what happened to the gingami that was the wrapping paper used to, to, to move all the random ma dog, the, the dog that、um, nobody had unwrapped. The chirabatte ita means to be scattered around. So, the crumpled up aluminum foil is scattered around. Chirabatte ita. Um, what is the te form of Ida o nu? Te form Ida o nunda nunda nunda. Hi.、Uh, it no, is no, the、sorry. glottal Not, stop. Nu is a n u d d e Hi. It's like this guy was being to paint. It's just the wrong kanji.、Um, do you know what magical tool was? That tool read? まあまあ、ど道具、道具。はい、道具。まあ、術の道具。Perfect. Okay. And how do you read this word again?、Uh, しらばった。Scatter about. And what the, how do you t u k i r u a room? I, I go straight through. I t u k i r u it. So let's go read the, the opposite. line from the book. はい。ゆかにまちゅつのどうぐがしらばったままなのでしらばったままなのでこれはあいだをぬうようにしてへやをつきり。お茶を渡した。渡した is to hand over, to hand over the tea. Okay.、Right. So,、um, it says that you can eat my chutsu no dogu ga sira bata mama nano de. Because, as it were, there w a s、uh, magical tools that were scattering about on the floor. Perfect.、Uh, I therefore I had to, or I was Ida or New York, n i s i t a I had to、uh, maneuver my way through that space.、Um, and I crosses the room, Sukiri, Eyao, Sukiri. And and I hand over the tea, Ojao, Watashita. Hi, so you only s i t it with that new grammar point. Do you remember what it meant? My hint is Gambaru. I got about it. I try. I attempt.、Yes. I make try. it.、Hard. It's funny how in I, Japanese there's three ways to say try, but there's only one way to say try in English. It's kind of funny right there. Hi.、So、Here, I, it's me. I, I make an effort. So, so I make an effort to weave my way so I don't step on the magical tools, of course. And as you see, we don't have a comma here. Why do we not have a comma here? Because these, these two actions are one and the same. Hi, he crossed the room is the same as he maneuvering through the space. Exactly, yep. He's doing the actions together. Awesome. So we just saw kishami. What did kosuri mean? After he kishami, is he hana o kosuri? Kosuri is he rubs. He rubs his so, hana. So, to rub. Perfect.、Um, do you know what this, how to read this verb?、Uh, nukeru. Is it suki money? So, fuki is to blow. It's not to glow.、Nuke. It's to、um, oh, blow. You might have said that actually. I feel like I'm going deaf.、Mm -hmm. ah. 
wait, uh, the the wind that was what blown in, blown. Yes. Um, specifically, it needs to blow through, so it does have to go in in order to blow through. So right here, I drew a picture of a squiggle line going through a person. That's what the wind is doing. So I've told you that this is what old people say, like in um Castle in the Sky. Sophie says, "Oh, the wind blows right through me." That's a uh, fuki nukeru kaze. Fuki nukeru kaze. The wind that blows through. Hi. Right, so we took off the nukeru. So what does this verb mean? Fuku. Hi. Right. Here it's just blow. Hi. Right. So this verb su is the opposite. What do you think su means? Su is to inhale. Hi. To perfect. suck in. To suck in air. So this kanji with the kuchi radical is su. Mani, I saw this kanji when I was oh. playing video games. Makes sense. The compound word was uh shu shu. Shu shu. Shu shu. Hmm. Yeah. It's a long, it's a long oo. Shu and then shu. It's like um to to suck and to take or something like that. That makes sense. To absorb. I think the word the English word was absorption. To absorb. Mm, that makes sense. Absorb shu one shu. Power. That's what you're thinking about. Shu shu. Hi, shu, hi, hi, shu. I got it wrong. Yeah, that's shu. not nice. Married reading. I don't remember which is which. One of oh, them had the this It's the second kanji. one, I think. Two, two. Oh, it's the first there one. There it is. Choose. Choose the main Yeah, thing. to take, to, to, to suck in and then to take the thing. So it's to absorb. Right. So but here in the in the single reading, it's simply su. -u. Su. -u. su. Right. So what is the stem form of su? Sweet, sweet. Perfect, sweet. Um, so this right here is a different fuita than the fuku we saw earlier with the kanji. So this fuku takes kanji. It has a kanji. So because the second fuku here does not have kanji, we know they're different in this book. Um, the kanji for this fuku is um this one. So what does this fuita mean? Ah, so the first one was to blow. This one is chotto fuita dake. Dake de nuno ga makuro. Nuno wa makuro. Okay, so despite being fuita, the cloth was completely black. Hi. The, the despite part is more about the chotto than the fuita. Because, of course, if you fuita, it's going to become makuro. But the fact that it's chotto fuita, you normally would imagine take a little bit more fuitaing that would make it into makuro rather than just like one fuku to makuroify a nuno into makuro ness. <laughs> what do you think? So whatever. Means? It must have something to do with making something dirty or making something yes. black. Fuku means to wipe. So with just wiping it a little bit, the cloth is completely black. So the idea is that you're, the it that's being wiped is not the cloth. The it that's being wiped is, I don't know, the the home or something that's in the bookshelf. Because the room's very dusty. So just with a little bit of wiping, the cloth is completely black. Um, Can you read this Money, can you read Yeah. Uh, the word to pay a bill is was it fuita as Harao. well? I forgot. That is another way Harao. to say this is um to sweep, which is a very similar. Um, the different uh between it is that harao you would not normally have a cloth in your hand, but you can harao with like a broom or a flipper duster or with your hand. But fuita should use a cloth. You should be wiping with a cloth. It's fuku. But harao is that Hi. more sweeping motion, which is funny because we have a sweeping motion with our hand. We also use the word sweep and not wiping motion. I guess wiping is more like circular if you're like thinking about it deeply, while sweeping is more of that back and forth movement. Um, 
So yes, head out to sweep off your money to pay off a, a debt. Right. But yeah, they, they're both cleaning words. They do use head out later on or before the scene when the con uses a broom to and also they wipe away um cobwebs using head out because you're they're not circling the cobwebs. Right. So I guess Huku is the circling wipe and head out is the back and forth. Oof. Hi. Um can you read this for word for me? Hi, it's sui komu. Perfect. What do you think this means? To, to inhale into. Yep. To suck into. Yeah. Seems a little excessive, like, but I guess you kinda of hold it a second if you're sui komu. Was it it's like you're Kirby? Was it Kirby? Yeah. Kirby, absolutely sui komu. Oh, like that's an ugly Kirby. In, or he sucked in. So I know. You, yuka. It's not yuka, it's you. Yep, it is just you. Correct for hot water. You. So, how do you read from... this word? Uh, this is the single reading. You. Right. You get. Yep. You get. So, it's not yuki. That and... sounds like courage. So, you get. Which is hot water energy is steam. Steam. Right. Hot That's steam. What, yeah, hot steam. Steam. They're cold steam. This is what? Hot steam. Is there just, cold steam? I don't think there's cold there steam. It's just the cold, idea that like... steam is coming from. I guess there's like. I guess that cold steam. Uh, but there's yeah, it's cold steam vape? from hot water. Oh. This doesn't mean hot, it just means water that is hot, right? Water, hot, hot. It just if you say mizu, they just they separate it between hot water and cold water. So mizu is cold and neutral, and you is just the word whenever we heat up the water. And steam has water particles in it, so water is cooked up. Um, let's go read the line from the book. Hi, uh, nobody wa kapuo. Uketo that Uketo that Um Yuki o No I'm sorry you get o Sui komu to Mataku Shami o shi Mata Mata Kushami o shi Mata Kushami Han Kachi de Hanao Fuita. So Fuita is this wiping. So I Aye. wipe my nose with that. Okay, so nobody wipe his nose with a handkerchief. Hi. And what did he say here? Say, nobody wa cup wo uke tote. He receives and he takes it. He takes the cup unto himself. Yeah, he takes the cup from and uh, it. he receives and takes. Yeah, it's interesting here that it it did not say tote, it say uke tote. Well, if you say so tote, that, that, that means he steals the cup. He like yanks it out of the boy's hand. That'd be very aggressive. Right. He receives. And the real it. question is why is it not just uke do, which is to receive, but that's because he's he's also like taking in the item, like because uke do on its own is very passive. But if you're saying like, oh, you're giving this to me, I found received it. It, it, it just makes it more equal. <laughs> I mean, just ukita, then it puts nobody in like a just receiving he's presence. Actor. Yeah. <laughs> he's he, not in there. He's no actively more. forming the the receiving bit. Exactly. Um, so he takes it. Um uh, and he um, he inhale the hot vapor. Or he 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 inhales the hot vapor and he um mataku. No, I'm mata. sorry, mata. Uh, kusami o shi. And kusami was that prison type. It's that sneezing thing. So he sneezes once again. Perfect. He, he seems to have caught a, a bit of a cold That's here. Uh, hi. And so he rubs his nose. Not rub. He wipes the nose. 
with a handkerchief. Perfect. Hunk yeah. Much better than when he rubbed yeah. his nose with kosuri. A, a little bit of Canadian uh, COVID strand coming down here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Nobody. Um, do you know how to read this kanji? Normally, this word doesn't have this kanji, but this kanji changes the meaning of the word slightly. Like, it makes it more obvious what it means. Do you happen to know how it's read? Okay, let's look at it. It have the kanji for sound. So it has to do with speaking or making sound. Right. Oh, before you ask. Exactly. Kiku is to oh, ask. But this is, it, it, it's not kiku. It is kiku. It's something else. No, it is kiku to listen. Oh, it is kiku. This is the same kanji. It is kiku. This is the same word. Uh, hi. Kiku, kiku. The difference is that this kanji insinuates talking, insinuates asking a question. You can use this kanji to also mean to ask a question. Um, for example, um, the Magic Treehouse books just uses the basic kanji kiku because this one's easier, right? That's the first kanji you learn. This one's more complicated. This is more literary. We got the more obvious distinction. For example, you've heard me talk about wakaru so many times. Wakaru is only one word it means to understand, but it does have three relatively commonly used kanji to insinuate different meanings. Right, this is all the same verb right here. This is all wakaru to understand. But you can say he's understanding through judgment or understanding through deciphering something if you just wanted to insinuate that. So you can always like not use it or just do this one, which is more generic. And that's what the kiku is. So this kiku Hi. is tends to slightly more insinuate listening, but it's a generic one versus the other kiku tends to insinuate asking a question. Um, it doesn't mean always. I do believe this can also be used. Like I've seen it used to mean to listen. And I guess the author was being funny. <laughs> um, but that is the insinuation. Mm -hmm. The idea is that this one is listening. The other one is asking. But they are relatively interchangeable. Like you you will see both. So they're just kind of tended. Mommy, I, I had something super cool to tell you after class oh. about something across recently about the Sumerian and the Arcadian languages. Oh. It has to do with Japanese. Yeah. I'll tell you later. Super cool. Right. Um, you know what Ikara means? Uh, I know you already knew Shibaraku. You did it awesome today. So I know you remembered it because <laughs> um so Itan from Itan Sagari, you know what that means? Um Wait, give me a chance to figure this out. So here at the corner of the bend, I itan sagari. So sagari is to retreat. Hi. I'm, I'm retreating. And I'm retreating in what way? Itan, meaning in one. Eat meaning one. Hi. Tan, it's some kind of a counter. Yeah, one something one yeah it one is step, some kind of counter it it is used in a lot of ways to mean at one step or it means norm it also means like at once or um for a short period of time and this kind of tends it tends to be like a take a step back tends to be the meaning of it um the kanji for tan here is not um done for step it is um a different kanji but right it's done with the glottal stop we will see it's uh whatever that means which is daybreak one morning so <laughs> kind of random but it means once or briefly i briefly step back which insinuates like a single step like it's a short step but it's like fast um brief. so taking brief, a step back is pretty good brief briefly stepping back a, a little bit back right right do we live on the book? Orega itan sagari. So I take us a, a bit back, a small step back. 
uh, I see here. So e meaning as it it say one, but it actually mean a small amount. Yeah. A few, like uh, like a like a a quantity that is small. Like just just like how in Japanese they use the number ten to mean a large Fulfill. or um Do enough them. of something. Right. Hi. Hi. Uh, shibaraku doa no soba ni iru to so here it say that by the door after a little while what did he do to the soba ni iru do, doa no soba ni iru to I, iru here, iru doesn't mean existing, is it? It does it mean to exist. Else. It is iru to exist. He is at so, the location of the... doa no sobu, so, soba. So after a little while, mm. he's at the location. So door. this is not shibaraku, oh. shite, right? The shibaraku without shite. So shibaraku is a adverb modifying iru. So the meaning of shibaraku doesn't uh, change, but now we're modifying a different word. So if it modifies iru, it, it means that this iru is shibaraku iru. Right. Which means that he was briefly at, by the side of the door. Yeah, it kind of feels he's like he's, he's, it, it, it feels like, yeah, it's like a short time, but it basically means he's waiting here. So you could read, change this as um, after waiting by the door for a short period of time, but it has a little bit of a waiting idea. Um, so it's basically one says when I'm saying waiting by the door, it says I was by the door waiting for a second. When what happened? Kozo nanda to kite kite. So kite. He asked, "Kita is towards towards the um towards the speaker or no? Yes, the, towards the, the speaker. Right, whoever's talking to us. Towards the person. Right, towards the ore. So he asking at me. Right. The question is directed at me. Kita right. kita, and the question is, kozo." Nanda, boy, what is it? Yeah, what is it, boy? Why have you not gone back downstairs? Um, what did Ida Nu mean? Ida Nu is to navigate through an Perfect. obstacle. And how about the space. Skiru? Skiru. Skiru, to cross. Perfect. And what does the grammar Yoni Sudu tell us? Yoni Suru is to make an effort. Perfect. To make an effort to do something. Right. So right here we saw a verb we actually talked about earlier, but we didn't officially see it earlier. What is this verb right here? Harao. We say that harao is to wipe away with something, with either oh, a broom or a stick. Specifically or... to sweep, but it does mean to wipe away. So right here it says he wipes away the spider webs. Which, you know, is a more of a, it's not a round motion, it's a back and forth motion. He's waving his stick back and forth. Mani, is that Kumo no Ka? No. Su. Kumo no Su, the web of spider. Right. In this context, it does but mean it... web. Specifically, Su means nest. So it can be used for other animal nests, like I believe bird nests, definitely dinosaur nests, um, and also spider webs. Kind of like and in those contexts, is also a noun too. What? In yes. those contexts, it also suit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's always pronounced as suit. Right. Hey. It might hey, yeah, have I guess um, I... a married reading. Um, but it's it's suit, and then probably ku and married. I would guess not soul and married. I was confused with ku. the kanji for fruit. 
Tuta. Yeah, the food of some. Tuta. Momo. It is similar, but a little bit different. It does not have the boop 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 on top. So, tadamo, tadamo, tadamo. fruits. Right. Hi. Nice. Yeah, it's always su, so, and then I think it turns into so when it's um married. Ah, um, it Kegen. also looks a little bit like the, like the kanji for for the east, like higashi. It does. Was it money? Well, it does look like it. Different it kanji higashi? though. Higashi. Higashi, right there. The eastern like from direction. Tokyo. Now they're they're similar. Oh. You got the square. Um, Kudamono is more similar, but yes, they are mm -hmm. similar kanji. Uh, Kegen is a no adjective that means dubious and kind of suspicious and puzzled. Like, hmm. Literally that noise. Right. <laughs> Ke Kegen, Kegen. Man money. Um, Hi. the gen character is that from the Jama. From one of the character in Jama, as in like an obstacle. It looks like it, but it is not Jama. 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 <laughs> it oh, is God. different. Um, Got that teeth like in character there. The cat is very common. I see that all the time. Cat tends to be used with like monster stuff, like magical creatures and bewilderness in general. Um, again, I means doubt, it looks like. So I might show up in like. To doubt someone. Ibukashi. We saw that in this book, Ibukashi um, house, but it didn't have kanji there. Um, but this is suspicious, and this one on the top is mysterious. And together it just means uh, okay. like do pu puzzled and like, why? Hmm? Okay, again. Um, so since this mysterious. is a not adjective, what is the soul it looks like form of it? Naso. Uh, good Kegen guess. Naso. So soul for looks like, not heard. It takes stem form. So you do not add na. It just kegen soul. Uh, kegen naso might be the heard version, which I haven't seen in a long time. So I don't know for sure. You know what body part is the mayu? These are eyebrows. It is the eyebrows. Perfect. Um, so soon, nobody is going to hisomeru, his mayu. So, um, hisomeru is to wrinkle. That's what we say. We wrinkle your eyebrows. So he, or he furrows, it's another word. Furrows his eyebrows. Um, his brows are doing some so, wiggly wigglies. Yeah. And here is our last line of the day. Two lines. Hi, so... It's the question here. The question is, mo is more. In this case, it means more, a little more. And he say, Hokorio harata hogai. Would you prefer? to clean up the dust right in this context it more? feels like khan is offering to do the action um literally what you're saying could be possibly correct but in, in the general hogai is either asking someone you should say you should do this he's either saying you should um dust a bit more or you're saying should i dust a bit more uh the subject is dropped uh, but contextually you would kind of assume Khan is asking, should I dust a bit more in here? Because he's waiting at the door being like, um, sh should I do that? Hi. But it could literally say, I think you should dust more in here is a theoretical translation. But that one would be kind of odd in the situation. <laughs> like he could say that. He could be that sassy. Um, but normally Hogai is not sassy. It feels like earnest. Is how I say that. So I think the first translation is more accurate in this context. Hi, hi, wakata. In the nebri, nebri wa mayu o hisome. So nebri furrow his brows. Kegen so. It looks like we say that kegen 
cat is mysterious, gen is suspicious. Right. Together it means kind of like a uh, dubious like what? Hmm? Dubious. So, kegen so ni kochi o mitta. He look at my direction right. in a suspicious way. Perfect. So ni Kegen so ni. Yep, he lifts his eyebrows and he looks at me like, "What? What are you talking about, boy? What? What? What, what do you mean? I should you should should you dust a bit more in here? This room is beautiful. There's no dust 